hello guys cook and eat okra with me on this day i was craving okra and i decided to use a new method this is me introducing my palm oil i let it cook for some while palm oil used to have a certain smell so i needed to eliminate by warming it this is me adding my vegetable oil the brand i used here was canola oil if you're used to it palm oil you don't have to to bleach it bleach it is to let it cook for some while and it do, it's not good for your health guys because it releases some free radicals which is not good for your system i let it cook for some time and at this point my oil was hot enough i introduced my i introduced onions to it i let it fry it for some time and this is since it was a new method this is blended okra i blended some of the okra I cut some just to let it have that crunchy and I season it with chicken bouillon. I season it with chicken bouillon, salt, garlic and ginger ground. Here it was ready for me to add my bell peppers. At this point it didn't sit well with me but I was like this was a new recipe that I learned so I have to follow it strictly. The way it is for a good outcome i had to stir it for it at least to cook at this point it was cooked enough everything was taste like was at the point that i needed to let it cook just for a little while and i had boiled my assorted meat this is assorted meat i'm introducing this is cow skin cow food towel and other parts of meat guys and i'm stirring it at this point it was ready everything was marinated and oh my goodness my kitchen at this point was smelling so good i had to cover it to cook for a while i didn't want to overcook it because the meat the assorted meat was already tender and i didn't want it to cook too much this was meat stock that i added the mistake I made here, I added a little too much meat stock. I would have added just a little bit, you know, because I don't want my okra to be, I want my okra to still have some sauce in it, but not to be too watery. So at this point, I added a little more meat stock to it, guys. And everything was ready. And this is me introducing the, the seasoned okra that I cook just for three minutes. Just You don't have to overcook your okra because you're going to kill all those nutrients in it. So the okra at this point was a little bit too watery for me, as I said before. And it wasn't that too bad. And at this point, everything was cooked. It's ready. Oh my goodness. This is ready, guys. About to be served. And this was me serving myself. The okra, it was a little bit runny, but not bad so a little tip for those who are cooking okra maybe for their first time you don't have to cover your okra because if you cover it you're gonna the slime you're gonna cut the slime or the draw as we call it and more to that you have to cook it just for about three minutes or so if you overcook it it will not be nice and add just a little bit of water just don't add more water it's better to add water like most towards the end of it than to add it much water than i did if you do that you may not be able to take out the water thank you for watching i love you all and until my next video see you bye bye